One of the things I'd encourage growers to do is to look at what their deposition is actually doing in the paddock. One of the things you can use is water sensitive paper to assess that. Now obviously when we're looking at the sort of coverage required for say a, a glyphosate, a fully transcated product, we're going to be looking to increase that for something like a paraquat. So these two examples, one comes from between the row, the other one comes from between the stubble line. This is probably about 60 litres per hectare and if I was considering say a glyphosate type product or a fully translocated one then this is probably reasonable application on the lower card. The one up at the top is probably getting a little thin particularly if you're chasing small weeds and these two have come from between the row down the bottom and probably in between the stubble line up above. And as you can see for a fully translocated product like glyphosate the lower card is probably quite adequate. I'm not sure the upper one is going to do the job if you're chasing a lot of small targets. And certainly if you're looking at a double knock and coming back with a contact type product like Paraquad, I certainly think that this Apple one's definitely not good enough. I'd be actually looking for something like the bottom one or better in the stubble line. One of the ways you can actually achieve that is by increasing your application volume and having a look at what's going on in the paddock with things like water sensitive paper. I think they're a useful tool to assess where your deposition is and how, how good it is in amongst the stubble and between the rows.